Mailbox Monday and Showcase Sunday for the week of, well, weekend of um, May 16th. Uh, this will be the last video with the horrible backlighting. We actually got some curtains to put up there, which I'm going to do later tonight. Um, anyway, so let me go ahead and go through the books that I got. And I apologize, my printer is running out of black ink. So, anyways. Um, first, the books I got for review. Uh, the first one I got for review is Alias Hook by... Lisa Jensen, and I got this off of NetGalley. Um, I believe it comes out in June. It's either June or July. I think it's June. No, it's July. comes out in July. Um, and this is a retelling of Captain Hook, kind of. It sounds like Captain Hook is cursed, and this is a story of how he got cursed to have to deal with Peter Pan, basically, and how he's trying to break that curse. So um, I really like... Peter Pan, and I'm very curious to read a Captain Hook retelling, so I'm excited to read this. The next one I got for review, and this I believe also comes out in July, and this is Monster Hunter Nemesis by Larry Correa, and here you can really see I'm running out of black ink in my printer. Um, this is, I believe, the fourth or fifth book in the Monster Hunter International series. Um, which I've really enjoyed. It's about a group of people who basically fight monsters and they meet all sorts of crazy characters and they're always very funny. They're always full of lots and lots of action. Uh, so I'm excited to read this. I think it'll be a really good read. And the next one I got for review is a new one by Tracy and Laura Hickman called Unwept. And this is the first book in the Nightbirds series. Um, I read the synopsis on this mainly I got because it's a Tracy Hickman book and I've been a fan of him for a while. Um, and I don't know, I haven't really read young adult stuff by him, but my understanding is it's a young adult book and it's about a girl who's lost her memory, who's living in this town and there's a group of elite people called the Nightbirds who kind of want her to join their group, but she can't remember anything about her past. That's all I know about her. I mainly got it because I like the author. So again, I believe this one releases in July, so... I have it up here on my computer, so I could look confirm that. I always end up doing that because I'm sitting here like, oh. Yeah, Um Up comes out July 1st. Monster Hunter Nemesis also comes out July 1st. And Alias Hook is supposed to release July 8th. Um, the last one I got for review, and I got like posters and everything with this, is um, Nick and Tesla's Super Cyborg Gadget Glove. Um, I have really been enjoying the Nick and Tesla series. This is a middle grade... Um, series that's kind of about two genius kids who solve mysteries like their parents have disappeared and they're living with their crazy uncle and um, things have been happening and they think somebody's spying on them and it all relates back to where their parents are. Um, it's also kind of an interesting book because it's kind of a do-it-yourself book. A lot of the gadgets and stuff that Nick and Tesla build, uh, you can build them yourself. So you can't really see it. Here it has, you know, instructions on how to build finger number one on the Super Cyborg Gadget Glove. Um, all of these books, the, the stuff that you have to build has been, most of them are a little complicated, so you probably need adult help if you're, you know, in the middle grade age bracket. Sometimes you have to use, like, hot glue guns and buy motors and stuff like that. Um, but they've been very creative. They're well done, and I've enjoyed reading them. And someday I will actually get a chance to, like, try to build some of the stuff in there, but I haven't gotten that far yet. And then I did buy two novellas, and this is my haul for the last two weeks. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, the first one I bought was The Cracking King, and this is part four by Malham Brook. Again, all the black is gone on my print printer. Um, the Cracking King is being released in installments, and I haven't been thrilled with that, but I read a little bit more about why Brooke decided to do that. And it sounds like she wanted to just start releasing the book earlier. And if she was going to write the whole book, it was going to be like a 770 page novel and it wasn't going to be able to publish until December. So when she was releasing like parts one, two, and three, she hadn't finished part eight yet. So I actually just read part four. The one that released this week that I also bought um, is The Cracking King part five. So I will, I will read that as well. And um, when you think about it, each installment has been like $1.99 on the Kindle. And when you add that all up, it's about $16 because there's going to be eight parts. And that's about the price you pay for a hardback novel. So I don't know that it really is costing that much more. Um, it's more than buying it as like an ebook, but 
not more worth buying than a book. Anyways, um, Mother's Day was last Sunday, and I did get three books for Mother's Day because I always ask for books. Um, the first one I got is Vinland Saga by Makoto Yukamur. I probably said that wrong. But this is a manga about, uh, you know, Vikings and stuff. So I've heard really good things about it, and I was excited to read it. It's actually like a novel-length size manga. Um, it is about 500 pages long, so it should be an interesting read. I believe there's like four of these out right now, so um, if I like this one, I'll have to get other ones in the series. But I'm excited to read that. And then the other two things I got were the next Girl Genius, um, Agatha Heterodyne and the Clockwork Princess. So this is number five in the trade paperback series. And these, of course, are very bright and colorful and very funny. I read one through three, and I got four for Easter, and then the fifth one, and the sixth one for Mother's Day. So this is Agatha Heterodyne in the Golden Trilobite. So again, these are steampunk graphic novels, and I'm very excited to read them. And I know a lot of people have been telling me you can read them online for free. That's fine. I like to have the trade paperbacks, so everybody just has to get over that. Um, all right, so that's mainly what I got. I got one more book, and this I got from the library just because I've heard a lot about it, and I've kind of been wanting to read it. I did get Landline by Rainbow Royale. Rowell? I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure. Anyways, I got that to read, and that's an adult book, but I wanted to get this, so I got this from the library, and this is Fangirl by Rainboy, Rainbow Rowell. <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um... I don't know. I'm going to read it. We'll see if I like it. I, I probably will like it because it's, pe it's about people who write fan fiction and stuff. And, you know, it should be a good read. I've heard lots of good things about it. So I guess if you total all that up, I don't know what I did. I made all these little printouts. I've got one, two, three, three ebooks for review, two novellas that I bought, one hardback for review, and then I got three books as gifts and one from the library. I think it's like 13 or something like that. It ends up being quite a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10 books in the last two weeks. I didn't really get anything last week. I bought that novella of the Cracking King Part 4, but that was it. So that's what I got. And um, yeah, I don't have much to say. We've been having very fall-like weather here in the Minnesota spring. It's been very cloudy and drizzly and like 50. Um, which is fine. You can still go out and bike in that as long as it's not pouring. Although we did get a lot of rain last weekend. So I'm look, hoping this weekend, you know, we get a little less. It's supposed to be nice. So we will see. Um, anyways, that's enough blabbing. I hope you guys got some good books this week and that you have a great week. And I will talk to you next week. All right. Bye.